Military people, have you ever slept with someone foreign while stationed overseas and if so, what's the story there? My grandfather had an illegitimate child that the family only knew about post death. He hid that his whole life. My grandmother only found out when the child, now adult, reached out to the family from the UK. I guess he was messing, World War 2, around and impregnated a woman. Knew about it and left the country to avoid being a parent. I was in Greece for a port call and met this girl at a bar music event. Got liquored up and she takes me back to her place and we do our thing. I had overnight liberty so I didn't have to be back for 2 days for duty section so I stayed. Woke up the next morning and went to slide out and her entire damn family was sitting around the table eating breakfast. It was an oh moment. I didn't know until then that they are one big happy family living together. It was clear what happened with her and I so I thought her father and her one brother might want to have a word with me. Nope they all invited me to sit down and fixed me a cretin pie or whatever they called it and I chatted with them for a bit. At first it was weird and I thought they were going to try to stab me but they were wonderful people. I never got with a foreigner while overseas, though if you count Hawaii as being overseas. I met my girlfriend who's from Hawaii while stationed at Hickam. We did get a warning about hooking up with foreign women and cheating on your significant other while in basic training though. One of the drill instructors told us a story about a guy who was married with kids and was on an unaccompanied tour in Korea, and accompanied means his family wasn't with him. While in Korea he managed to get a Korean girlfriend and even got engaged to her. Without telling her he had a family back in the states. When it was time for him to leave Korea. He just up and left without even so much of a word to his Korean mistress. So this Korean woman discovered where this guy and his family lived in Texas. And flew there with her sister. Rented a car. And drove to his house and raised holy hell on his front yard in front of him and his whole family. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. My great grandfather was a Polish air pilot during World War II. Ended up crashing and going to an English hospital. Met my great grandmother. A Scottish nurse. Got married and started a family. Literally 99% of the military does when stationed in Korea. My son is stationed in Japan. This is the one thing we don't talk about. I should have married her. But I was young and very. Very stupid. And immature. But it's all good. 17 years later. After a lot of bad relationships. I hit pay dirt. But occasionally. Late at night. I admit I wonder what might have been. When I was single all the married guys used me as an excuse to go to clubs. About 3 months into my second tour in Germany. Me and a friend went clubbing. A young lady celebrating her birthday noticed me. Told her friend. Her friend lied to me and said she wanted to talk to me. We talked. That was April 1998. We are still together. 3 kids and a cat. I'm female and got out of the military a few years ago. I honestly regret that I never did. I met a guy on Tinder in Germany once and thought for sure it was going down. He came over to my apartment. I was ready. Turned out he was Albanian and very religious. And he really was only interested in Netflix and chilling. After that I met the guy who is still my so to this day. Best story ever. You. Wanna Netflix and chill? Him. Sure. You. Tries to kiss. Him. What are you doing? My old boss was in the army when he was young and was stationed somewhere in Asia. He met a woman there and she came back with him to the UK. They have been married for over 40 years and have grandchildren. Edit. I forgot to mention that he was my manager of produce at a superstore and his wife worked in the store bakery. Occasionally I would see their grandkids, which were around my age. This is how you get kids to join the army. Not free college. Edit. I met her in Hawaii and she is a Pacific Islander from Saipan. I slept with her literally the first day thinking it was going to be a one night stand. Got married 6 months later and have been with her since 2014. I don't know how we make it work but we do and I love her more than anything. No kids but I have 5 cats. 
One of these days I'll convince her to let me get a dog. I know someone that deployed to Okinawa in the 80s. He was my friend's father and my friend at 15 years old found out that the father had cheated on his wife and had a half sibling. Well that half sibling came looking for the father when we were both in high school. Lots of drama ensued. I love to joke about this with my dad who was in the navy for 20 years. I just know I have Cuban half siblings but he insists otherwise. I wouldn't be here if my grandfather didn't do this in Korea. Second generation military here. My father went went as part of a relief mission near the equator, vague to save my identity. And he wound up with a girlfriend while still married to my mother. He wound up being sent home early and never got a medal for going. I'm pretty sure this was because of the girlfriend. This whole issue was one of many reasons my parents divorced. I'm not military. But I'm from a small South American country that Western military used to visit back in the day around 30 years ago. From the stories my mum told me. The guys would regularly show up in bars looking for local women to hook up with. Some of the women did end having children for the men. Which is one of the reasons why there's white looking people in our country. A majority of our population is either black or Asian. And the rest are mixed. A few of the men did fall in love with the local women and took them back to their western home countries. I'm not sure if my mum ever hooked up with any of the military men. But I'm pretty sure my gran did back in her day because most of her kids look half white. When I was in Okinawa there was a bar that was near my apartment that me and my buddies hung out at. The bartender and owner was an old man who just surfed all day and ran his bar at night. But importantly kept the town patrol out so we could hang out past curfew. One night at the bar we met some girls and just hung out all night. The girl I was with went back to my place with me and got frisky. Like you would see in a PRN video. She made the high pitched squeak moaning and was completely out of sync so you knew she was faking it. I couldn't help it and just started laughing my ass off. I could not stop laughing and just had to stop. She seemed very confused at first and then really embarrassed and head off and then left shortly after. I ran into her again at the bar a week or so later and we dated for the rest of the 3 years that I was there. Went out partying. Girls wanted to party with and tag along. Usually you'll get a few glances from girls and there's a big confidence boost when you consider that you'll likely never see that person again so just shoot your shot and odds are good you'll land one. Girls often go out looking for foreign men for both non-committal and long-term relationships. Also being underway. The main outlet for stress is working out. So you get a bunch of fish young dudes showing up with wads of cash looking to party and a desire to nut so it's win-win for both parties. My grandfather was stationed in Germany during the Vietnam War, don't ask why cause I'm not sure, and he told me he would often deliver mail to houses in the countryside. He told me that he would visit one home so commonly that he ended acquainting with one of the housewives while her husband was away at work. Well one thing led to another and my grandpa ended up breaking up a German family. The funniest part of it all was that when he finished telling the story he added. My grandfather was Air Force and met my grandmother while stationed in the U.K. Now my family spans three continents. Makes me wonder if my grandpa who spent many years between Korean War, Vietnam War, and Secret War in Laos had slept with women throughout Asia and impregnated one or more women and I got cousins in Asia that I don't even know about. Cousin did an S Korea. Now he has a beautiful kid but unfortunately a bad crazy ex-wife. She went mental after the kid was born and disappeared. No one could find her until his deployment was ending and he was coming back with his daughter. She reappears out of nowhere and the legal snafus were numerous. With her trying to reclaim the kid. I'm not sure exactly what happened but it got so bad that he got assistance from the army to get his kid out. As she abandoned them and they were divorced. Young American men. In good shape. In another country. Find me one that hasn't slept with a local. You'd be surprised how many service members aren't in good shape at all. I was in Dubai when I was in the navy around 2005. A buddy and myself met two women from the UK. 
They were vacationing and we all ended up at the hard rock there. At the end of the night I was behind the bushes on one side of the entrance going to town on one chick and my buddy was behind the bushes on the other side with the other. So we got to under the giant guitar while all our other's friends kept a lookout just in case. That's why friends made in the military last a lifetime. I was a 20 year US military member stationed in Asia. Taught English at a community center once a week. Asked out a girl in the class just after she was graduated HS. We dated for 6 months then I had to leave the country. Stayed in touch. Married 18 months later. Still happily married 27 years later. Not military but my biological father is. He came to Panama during the Noriega invasion. He knocked up my mom after telling her he was single and wanted to start a family with her in the US. Time comes for him to go back to the US and he tells my mom he's actually married and left immediately. Another soldier ended up marrying my mom and adopted me as his daughter. He is who I consider my actual father. My military dad teddied up wherever he went. Years ago my dad got a call from an Australian woman. We are in you. S. Comma and told him she thinks he may be her father. We were all in our 30s at the time but it was kind of exciting to think we may have another sister. My dad went to get the paternity test done but it turned out he wasn't her father. He was actually sad about it and expressed how sorry he was and that he hopes she finds who she's looking for. I hope she did too. He mentioned he wouldn't be surprised if we have a bunch of siblings around the world. My grandpa was serving in Germany and married a local. They moved to the US with their two babies. Spent about 40 years together until they passed 3 weeks apart. 8 is in Germany. I'm from the US. Was pretty fluent in German. Having started learning it in middle school. And continuing through college. Met a girl from Saarland. At the time. English wasn't compulsory in her school. She opted for French. So she spoke no English at all. We were totally in love. And as my tour there drew to a close. We entertained thoughts of marriage. But I couldn't see bringing her to the US. Compelling her to relearn her nursing studies in English. While I spent so much time in the field. That goodbye was among the most painful experiences of my life. If I had been thinking. I would have extended my tour there. Married her. And I'd be a German right now. And I could watch the show that the US has become from afar. Not in the military but one time a US Navy carrier docked in the port city where I grew up and 9 months later there was a huge spike in pregnancies with local residents. It must have been all those seamen. Mayo almost all military people while stationed overseas did this. Who else are they going to sleep with while overseas than foreigners? The story is the same as it is in the USA. You get yourself down to the pub club bar. Get a few drinks and you and have a go at chatting someone up. Exactly the way it works all over the world. I spent a week in Germany on my way back from Iraq and ended up getting drunk and having sex with a female soldier in a World War II cemetery. Oops. I am US Army for the past 15 years. When I was stationed in Germany it was mandatory for all soldiers to get a 4 day weekend every month. Every month soldiers would scatter around Europe and I'll let you use your imagination on what was going down lol. I personally fell in love with a German chick. Should have married her. But I got deployed and a girl like that isn't going to wait around for a year for a guy who might only be able to call home once a month. But yay anyways. Soldiers. No matter where they get sent. They will find a way lol. I was doing a NATO visit and slept with a Danish intel officer who looked like Kate Beckinsale. Ended up in a relationship with her for about 6 months. She was absolutely fire but I was too immature at the time for it to last. Interestingly the UK major overseeing the trip said I should be careful because it might have implications on her career. What about my career? Military service is SZSTF. AF. I feel like Ask Reddit is slowly morphing into free erotic literature fodder. There's a lot of German American kids playing soccer in Europe lol. Nice try. Military spouse. I'm a returned Peace Corps volunteer. 
so not exactly what you're looking for. But a girl in my group, we were in an East African country, met an HCN, host country national, and they hit it off pretty fast. She ended up getting pregnant very early into our training. Took a pregnancy test and got a false negative. Continued to party and live her life. But eventually took another test and it confirmed the pregnancy. It was pretty scandalous and she had to immediately return home. But she remained in a long distance relationship with her boyfriend and a few years ago he moved here to be with her and they got married. Their little boy is 4 or 5 now. Every military person ever stationed overseas. Percini composed an entire opera about how terrible of an idea that is. Army. Germany. Bank German. Austrian. Polish. And British girls. Not me by my cousin. He told me the funniest story about meeting girls overseas. They were partying in Thailand and his sergeant was dancing with this hot girl and disappeared with her. The next day they asked him how it went and he said she was grabbing his junk a lot and he was like hell yeah let's go then he reached down to grab her and he goes her dick was bigger than mine. Well. Not technically stationed but I did a joint training deployment to the UK. I asked a girl off the street to lunch in the town of Bath. Lunch was nice but didn't lead anywhere. So I shagged a pro in London a couple days later. I had the opportunity to go brothel hopping while training in Panama. But decided not to go. Sadly that's all I've got. I see the hourly SX havers of Reddit. Give me some wank material post has evolved a bit. Sailed around the world a few times. Honestly when I was younger I made it my mission to sleep with a woman every stop. Didn't always turn out unfortunately with limited time in some countries not allowing alcohol, which helps. Convinced myself I just have caught HIV after sleeping with some Brazilian woman despite being warned several times not to sleep with them. Luckily I was clean and so was she. But after that scare I decided to stop messing about. OWW I can contribute. Well I was technically the foreigner. From Canada doing my service in the Swiss military. Oddly I was considered exotic by the local chicks in Zurich. I slayed like MF. I doubled my body count in 6 months. It was nuts considering that the people there mostly didn't have a very positive view of their own military. I guess it really helped that my wingman was a brother in arm. It had a long term effect on me to be honest. Positive and negative but overall I grew a lot from that whole year of my life. I was in the army stationed in Germany. My friend was dating a good looking Russian girl who lived in Germany and they wanted me to date one of her friends. The girl they introduced me to was gorgeous. Way too good looking for me but she was really into me. A little too much into me. Well. The SX part isn't that interesting. I ended up deploying but since she wasn't my girlfriend. I didn't even tell her. I just vanished for a year. I came back and turned on my old German cell phone and a few days later she called me. I acted like it was the wrong number and hung up. I often wonder why a girl as good looking as her would be so interested in me. I sometimes wonder if she may have been a Russian spy. Seems curious that the phone was off that long and she called. Your hunch is probably correct. I lived in Germany as a kid. Dad worked for the Air Force. In the early 80s there was a bar in Kaiserslautern named the Wild Cherry. It was a funk R&B bar where the black GIs would hang out. They would get dressed up and go down there to party and get their game on. I never went in but my friends and I would go by there when we were out carousing and talk to the guys hanging out outside. They were always in a very chill mood. The German ladies went absolutely ape over this. As I remember. German dudes were infamous for treating women like back then. But any German girl could walk into the wild cherry and be treated like a queen. And. It goes without saying. Ed long and hard. It caused a lot of resentment amongst the local yokel guys but I thought it was funny as hell. I hate to be yet another not me be at. But I was in a committed relationship during my only deployment. I only knew a handful of guys who went to the brothels during a port called to Singapore. And only one to do so in Bahrain. 
they give you a brief ahead of time and made it pretty clear that you were likely supporting human trafficking if you went to the house. And that seemed to sketch out most people. The real wild story was the prostitution ring on ship.